Hey everyone, I'm back for uh, another Path of Exile video. It's a follow-up to my Evasion Ranger, and I've made a Armor Evasion Ranger, which is a, a sort of a follow-up, and I thought this would be a better build, and it definitely is. And I'll show you. Uh, so, it's a bit different of a tree. I had to completely reroll the character because uh, too many respects would be required. Um, still went for Ronder's Guy, which is uh, the cornerstone of this build, is to basically uh, evade a long, a ranged attacks on me and I get a 95% chance to evade it. It's uh, totally capped out. I also get Heavy Draw, which is uh, more stun duration, physical damage, and some life to go along with it, as well as lots and lots of life. It's a life-based build, rather than getting these the stupid-ass evasion nodes, which are totally, this is like a beginner's trap right here. Like, these are totally useless. It's better to spend your points on just capping out your life because of the diminishing returns on armor and evasion. So, I also managed to steal some nodes from the uh, uh, Duelist Tree instead, uh, cap up some of my mana, get some more life regeneration, some armor. Uh, I don't even need this, but I got it just because I need to get it. Um, didn't get Acrobatics this time because uh, I, you're depending too much upon RNGesus, although I could get it at the end of my build. Uh, that's definitely something I could do, although this technically is the end of my build. Uh, I'm trying to just try and get Talons of Murder right now, which is uh, some more life and physical damage. And, and then I'll get some more attack speed at the end, and then pretty much I don't know what to do after that. Although that's like six levels away, although I'm really close to another level, so more like five. Uh, so that's basically my build. Um, as for my uh, equipment, uh, the most notable thing that has changed is this. I chanced this, and it's got the maximum armor evasion roll. I got really lucky by finding this. It's um, quite possibly the best armor evasion armor I could possibly ask for. Uh, it gives, gives me more endurance charges, I gain onslaught uh, whenever I get hit, which is more attack speed and, and crap like that. Uh, so that's really, 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 really nice for this build. Uh, it's the most armor innovation I could probably get uh, out of armor, and uh, that's pretty much it for that. Oh yeah, it's also 5-linked, uh, rain of arrows, faster attacks, mana leech, uh, physical projectile attack, and life leech. Also, I got uh, the rat's nest still. Uh, haven't changed this out. I could probably change it to something else. Because ideally, I just want my chance to evade to be over like 45%. And I have it way over that. Uh, so it's just one of those things. I, I'd rather prefer more armor, probably. I also have some evasion gloves. Um, I actually have some armor boots. And uh, the same bow I had last time. I'm still just getting over a cough, so you have to bear with me. Um, not really much else to say about the rings. It's just I, I favored life and resistances for most of the gear. Uh, it's a survival kind of base build. You know, it's kind of what I want. Eventually, I may want to six link this, um, but, you know, uh, that, that'll be eventually. And uh, I'm also running a uh, uh, ranged attack totem with uh, ice shot, chain, and muscle projectiles. This is mostly so I can put ice ground under everything because it's actually really cool to do that. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, and um, it makes things a lot easier for me when I'm trying to tank stuff. So I get some physical attack damage and, and frenzy on this one as well, mana leech, just so I have a single target attack. Uh, enduring cry projectile weakness with cast on damage taken, because I like enduring cry and I like projectile weakness curse. So while I'm getting hit, I'll make them weaker as well, which is cool. And I also have lightning warp just to get around. Um, and I also run three auras, uh, but I don't actually run them all the time. I run haste if someone else already has hatred. So normally I run hatred and grace on my own, or with like someone who doesn't run hatred because I really like cult damage. I'll run haste if uh, someone else has it just to kind of help the team, which increases our attack speed and all that kind of crap. Now normally my chance to evade is 42%, and this is basically at my level, which is like 74, which will be 75. Um, so that's basically, Ondar's Gal knocks that up to about an 84% chance to evade, which isn't enough. But however, if I go into the Eternal Lavatory, um, running Hatred and Grace, it knocks me up to 55% chance to evade, which caps at the 95% limit. So I have a very, very high chance to evade, and that's what makes this build really, really nice. Uh, by the way, um, this is for monsters at my level, and uh, for you, I will ma run you a 66 map, which is Orchard Map of Chan Champions. It contains totems and more magic monsters, which is fine with me. I have no chaos resistance whatsoever, but my li large life pool and the fact that I have uh, Life Leech kind of makes it 
okay, but I, I do have to be careful. I really would not want some cast resistance, just a little bit at least, maybe on my quiver or something. Um, but yeah, we're going to run the Archer map for you if you've never seen the endgame content for Path of Exile. Um, I guess this will be the first time you see it, and uh, it's actually kind of fun. So basically, uh, when you finish the game, so I'm in Act 3 Bursalis, for my subscribers who don't know the end game of Path of Exile, you basically get, basically these maps start dropping, and they have different places, and it randomly generates a place, and you just put it in the map device. And now you get to clear uh, a randomly generated instance of, uh, of w w what is called the Orchard map uh, here. And so, now I get to kind of just rope around. And every every map has kind of an end game boss to it. So I can, I can kind gone. of put up my uh, totem here. And just kill some of these guys. My mana is sustainable, it's just sometimes it doesn't catch up, especially when I cast something like the totem. So, I, I basically you want to clear everything out. And look, I, another map just dropped right there. I got a sp spider layer map right here. That's kind of cool. And, you know, there's a cannot die totem. So basically, some, some of the map mods make you either weaker uh, or make the enemy stronger. In this case, I chose actually some pretty safe mods just to show, you, show it off. Um, it's also a very low level map. They, these are level 66 monsters. So, it's really not going to be a huge difficulty. So, what I could do is I could kind of put the totem up behind me while I'm kind of hitting these guys. And you notice like, these are Sonics and they, they see those little spikes they put on? They, whenever they die, they do that. That's kind of what they do. And I leveled. Um, the spikes do dick all to me because I'm evading all the attacks. So this is a nemesis character, which is a permanent death league, so if I die, I die in real life. Uh, it's, a, it's just, you get sent back to softcore and you basically don't want to play in softcore. Um, so it's basically as good as losing your character. So, um, I got a skill point, so I might as well go put it into, let's see, my life is that much. And so now I get some more physical damage. Oh, look there. A nice fucking cool 4,900 4, life. And so basically I'm, d I'm stacking life instead of evasion. So really cool character. I, I enjoy this one. So with the high chance to evade, um, you know, it, it's basically the best of both worlds. I personally, like in theory, I, I was theorycrafting this build and I kind of just said, you know, it given the diminishing returns of both armor and evasion, stacking a bit of both will make this character better than one that specializes in, in, in kind of one or the other kind of thing. And, and that was my theory to it, and it's actually working out really well. Um, so I'm not really capping out um, my resist like I, I could, but, you know, it's it's one of those things uh, uh, where I think, I, I think I'm better off because no one is better than both than I am. Well, if, well, if you have really godlike gear, I suppose you'll be better than both, but, uh, but I'm just saying, like, because of the diminishing returns, you know, They'll have a relatively low chance to hit me, not as low as it could be, but even when they hit me, I'll have a relatively high damage reduction. And the Andar's Guile crap just, you know, makes projectiles a total joke. So you see these archers, like, here, I'll, I'll go kill this guy. Oh, what, you want to hit me? Oh. Uh, here, I, uh, this is this is my project. I'm just dodging everything. So, yeah, they can't, they can't do anything to me. Especially the end game boss of this area, um, you guys will like the... This is actually considered to be a very difficult boss. However, you're gonna just watch me kind of roll through him because uh, of this build. Normally, actually, like, people completely avoid this this boss that I'm about to do. My mana is gone. And there's someone with the uh, bringer... No, actually, the, the totem does that. And so I can kind of just go in the middle of guys and kind of just rain of arrows myself. And I also knocked him back a little bit, too, because of that curse. It's nice. So I'm just trying to get to the boss right now, because that's what you guys want to see. Normally, you explore maps all the way, because you want to get all the items and all the all the gear and all that crap. Let's put the this back on. Oh, look, you're bringing bones. So my life leech is usually enough to counter any kind of, like, damage I do take. That's kind of the benefit of, of prioritizing what I've done. So I would say that my, my chance to evade is pretty much on the level of my last character, sadly enough. Um, 
Just I don't get the spell dodge, which I I could go for at the end of my build to get that those set of nodes. But you know, it's it's totally up to me. It depends if I want to have my armor or not. Because uh, I, I kind of like armor though. It's also really expensive to go into there. It'd be like like five levels or something, so probably won't do that. I I, I really like to kind of just steamrolling through everything with high life and all that. So you can I can kind of like be ballsy as hell. So this guy has extra physical damage. Of course, the real problem is he won't be able to hit me, and he also has soul conduit. And someone, someone basically just got rid of all the corpses for me, which is probably a totem somewhere. There you go. Oh look, a, a one-handed mace. Cool. It's a neat build. It really is. Honestly, it's uh, Path of Exile has a really fun end game if you if you can make it that far. Um, you don't have to do it though. You can just kind of like re-roll characters all the time or do whatever you want. For me, I've been trying to find a character that I really enjoy and I've done way too many summoners. Um, and they're actually boring as hell to do summoners. I, I, I really like the bow character. But I, I kind of like doing crazy builds like this and kind of like having it work. I don't I don't really like doing whatever the, the flavor of the month is, what everyone else does. I kind of just like theory crafting my own shit and then, you know, occasionally I get something cool out of it. I like to kind of geek out and theory craft stuff, so... You know, and if you're watching this channel, you probably do too. This is this is what we're all about. We're all about nerding out on my channel here. And there you go. I really like this totem because it's just it's everything turns into ice. It's utility more than anything. I don't really care about freezing them. I just care about chilling them. All right, so this is where the boss is. Fuck off, snake. We're showing the boss. So it's behind a door. So, um, by the way, you would explore the rest of the map before you do this. Um, and for the safety of time and all that kind of crap, I'm just going to do it, explore the rest of my own. And just show you what this boss is all about. Um, so hopefully I don't die here. Because uh, this is a nemesis. I haven't died yet. And if I die, I'll be really pissed. Not a good start because we're right by a, a critical totem. But luckily, they'll never hit me. And if I want, I can pop uh, either my evasion flask or my my other one too. So right now, I'm and you'll notice I'm just kind of standing here because I don't want to trigger the boss in this area. Because he's going to be annoying as fuck. It's basically a devourer, and devourers are kind of hurt. You may be seeing me log out really soon. I, I just need to get rid of all this crap in the middle. Like, I, he does not want to be... Like, you do not want these totems to be up. Oh shit, that's him. No. Oh. So as you can see he's uh he is attacking me. But I am completely evading all his attacks. So now I can go concentrate on him. And I can, if I want, I can kind of just move out of the way if I really want to. He'll eventually hit me because it's a 95% chance to hit, so that 5% event eventually will catch up with me. I don't want that one to be the one I get hit by, though. Oh, that one hit me. But I can use my potion, so I, I, I have enough life to basically deal with one attack. Oh, come on. I can rain a barrel. I have enough life so I can basically survive that. Oh, fuck, man. He keeps hitting me with that one. I think that one's a spell, actually. Oh, there you go. So I, I did kind of roll through him. Like, honestly, imagine he was hitting me with all his projectiles. You know, it'd probably be more danger, but, you know, I got to about... That really big hit, though, as long as I can kind of tank my way through that, I'm perfectly fine. And so I didn't die. And uh, this character lives to see another day. Luckily, so hope you enjoyed my little video showing showcasing yet another character in Path of Exile. Uh, don't know how many more I'm gonna do, but I do stream this game regularly. So uh, if you're interested in seeing me do more, run more maps, you can definitely go check that out. Um, Mike Lad, uh, uh, that I'm Mike Lad on Twitch TV and links in, I guess, my description. Uh, and so I, I, I do a lot of streaming this game. It's it's my it's my baby right now. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.